cars, cars, cars. Every scandalous situation you've ever heard of, every terrible impression you've ever heard of about car salesmen, it's true. <laughs> Come and see me. We're all here. We're going to sit you down. Bring your pink slip and checkbook. And even if you don't have one, we'll give you one. Okay. And you, you know, do you want me to be flip? Do you want me not flip? Do you want me to be natural? Do you want me to put inject humor? Do you want me to be do it straight? No, I'm not talking to me like I'm going to be a comedian. But do you want me to be? This is the most difficult job in the world, with the exception of one. That's being president of the United States. Most great artists, whether they're a violinist, a plumber. A cab driver, well maybe a cab driver is different, but a car salesperson, you either have it or you don't have it. Most times, you're going to fail. It's like Green, the greatest baseball player in the world that makes the Hall of Fame fails seven out of ten times because they're a 300 hitter. They're going to make it to the Hall of Fame. So imagine that mindset when you're trying to sell a car in the car business. You're going to have more failure. You know, everybody asked me, how, how did you do it? How are you? I mean, I did it for two stores, only two stores where I worked. And I did it for 20, almost 23 years. And I never moved around, and I loved it. You know, we had a cushy little office and nice working hours. And, you know, we had, we could sing. Matter of fact, this place, they wanted us, and they didn't want us. I, I, I could, literally, people would, after they're done buying their vehicles, I'd go on the speaker and I'd start singing to them. Start spreading the news. You're driving in a car home today. You know, I want to get inside of that. OK, no. No, I'd sing the song, I'd, you know, sing New York or any song. I can do any song. This was the, the epitome of the, the old style local Chevy dealer owned by a family of many, many generations that was in business in little Alameda, California for over 60 years. And uh, it was very, very sad when a place like this literally closed down its doors and uh, still sits vacant today. I always thought that cars were something that, that you want to go out and sit in and smell and drive around the block and get on the freeway and floor it kind of a thing, you know? Uh, and, and, and then the business changed quite a bit. As, as computers became more pervasive and as people became more, more kind of choosing and as more and more competition became more you know, pronounced, then the, the business started to get more diluted and pretty soon the apparatus for everybody having a good time started to change and it brought us to where we are today. Hey, hey Al, we gotta sell, we gotta sell 400 cars this weekend. And I go, what? What? We gotta sell 400 cars? How am I gonna sell 400 cars? Come on down, I gotta get rid of these cars. I can't, this is, I'm, I'm 400 cars. A lot of that. This business is like no other business in the world. It's, it's, it's not for everybody. It's the ultimate in just absolute rejection personified. It's kind of like trying to impress the lady and being rejected many a times and told basically, go to your room, go to your corner, you're not getting anything, we're not even going to talk, I don't want to have anything to do with you, kind of a thing, because it's a very personal business. But, but once you succeed, it's the greatest job in the world because it, it epitomizes the, the salvation of being, being accepted by somebody. I'm, uh, oh yeah, I'm Joe Hartzheim, and I sound like this for no apparent reason, and I annoy people to death, so come on down, bring your you know, checkbook, your pink slip. Yeah, th th that guy's very annoying, Hartzheim. They, he's with the, those are the ones that are like the lizards with the, you know, with the, with the, the cowboy boots and the hats. and. The, Thank you.